welcome back to another episode, the 12th episode and instalment of the Underground Podcast. I hope you're all doing well, having a lovely Sunday evening if you're watching this. And by the way, Jesus Christ, I've looked in the LED display. I'm looking brown. I'm looking... I'm looking good right now, alright, I'm looking tanned, that's all I know, we've got a lot of topics to come up right now, first thing, first thing, we've got a new editor, uh, so shout out, underscore, Ollie Ray, underscore, that's right, it'll be on the screen now, he's my new editor, I'm stoked for this, and also, it's not just like a permanent thing, as in like, if there was other editors out there that also want to edit for me, because obviously, he might not be able to do some days of my videos, and you might be able to if you're watching this now, then comment down below, hit up my social medias, you know, DM me on Instagram, you know, in Zingy, as always, you've always got a plug. Now, let's talk about Area 51. Alright, let's talk about Area... Actually, no, no, we can't, we can't yet. We stick around for that, you're going to have to stick around. Give me that watch time. Uh, one, one thing I want to talk about, the plant, not sure if you can see this, but it's slowly dying. I don't know what happened. I went on a holiday, came back, and just... It's dying. It needs, it needs, do you know what? It needs some water. This is live right here now. We're giving it some water. Um... Uh, I would not recommend this as a, be a way of, but you know what, that that will do, that will do, I mean, it's going to survive now, alright, trust me, but Area 51, so for those of you who haven't heard, this week in particular, especially, there's been uproars, and everyone, it's been a lifelong question, do aliens exist, like, do they, alright, am I an android, robot, cyborg, monster, alien person, I could, I'm not, I could be though, so people want to find out these questions, what's happening in Area 51? So there's been a petition and thousands of, no sorry, millions of people have signed the, the petition, yeah, and signed this uh, thing, on, it's an online thing as well, which I don't know what it actually does. Alright, it's not like if they sign it then they're just all going to swarm there. But apparently on September 20th, I'm reading here now, uh, everyone's just going to go ham in America and well, all over the world and just raid Area 51. Will that happen? I'm not sure, I feel like... It's all talk, there's a lot of memes around it, the memes, we'll get to that in, in a minute. The memes are funny, I've got, to, I've got to say that, I don't think good that's come out of this. But I feel like it's all talk because are people that stupid enough uh, in America to run up to a restricted area uh, by the military and government that they're hiding from us uh, with risk of dying? Literally it says the signs when you go to Area 51 in America and Nevada and things like that, it's literally said they'll, they have got snipers, they'll shoot you. They've got a massive army, but then again, if there's millions of people, what are they going to do? Will it happen? We'll find out. I'm not really sure. Like, the, the, the question, do aliens exist? I believe there is some sort of life out there, like a, in another form. I don't think it's this cliche, generic picture that we all draw at school when we teach our children. Oh, look, it's this green man, like, like Paul, for example. You ever seen the Paul, if you're American, Paul? You ever seen the movie Paul? Um, Paul from... I don't know who's in it, uh, Joe, oh, I can't remember who's in it, Seth Rogen I think, but it's not like that alien figure that everyone thinks, I reckon an alien is more of like a, a weird species, like just a beam of light, uh, it's just a, a complete, it's not a human, and maybe they can adapt to us, so maybe there are humans living among us, and I've watched Impulsive recently, and uh, uh, the, uh, Mr. Mr. Greer, I think it is, Mr. Greer, I think that is his name, he's like a scientist slash, you know, does all this stuff, criminology, and he's apparently seen an alien in a form of a triangular Dorito head. Uh, don't know what's good of that, but you know what? <laughs> uh, that's apparently they exist. Uh, apparently they exist. Another thing as well, we need podcast guests. We need two co-hosts to join me. So if you're watching this now, you want to come on, talk about some discussions, and maybe be a permanent co-host for me, comment down below. Tell me your thoughts. What do you want me to change? Do you want a new backdrop? I, might, I was thinking about getting a, a complete, having the camera over there and having a complete brick wall, and you have like nice, like soft, like uh, you know, soft lights on there, basically. Uh, so let me know any improvements I can do for the podcast. Maybe I can do a section where we go out and we talk about something. I don't know. We could do a lot of things. There's a lot of ideas I have in the pipeline. Obviously collabs as well. Hit me up if you're a YouTuber. If you're not a YouTuber, if you just want to film content and be entertaining, all right, that's what we're here to do. Also, merch coming soon. All right, merch coming soon. If you want your mugs, hoodies, I've actually got a hoodies on right now. I've got this. Uh, this is also a sponsor. Use jo the code Josh Twenty from the Wolf London link in the description, and get twenty percent off. How about that? They make nice fitted tops, hoodies, joggers, the lot, shorts. Uh, go visit the website. I actually go to buy something, and I get free clothes. Essentially, nah, it's not the reason why I'm just promoting it. They actually are a good brand. I promise you that. But guess what? Football's back. Football's come home. All right. And when I say that, I don't mean in terms of England. I'm on about Leeds United. 
and just well not just Leeds United but that's the team I support but every team all right the championship has begun today well actually yesterday but today like for Leeds first ever first game is Bristol and I think we got I think the next game is next Saturday is Notts Forest Nottingham Forest so yeah I'm looking forward to it so I've placed bets I'm going to talk about this every season I place a few bets and you know some of the bets are like 50 to 1 120 to 1 I always like to do this because I used to be I used to be mad gam a gambler like that. I used to waste all my money on that, hundreds and hundreds of pounds, stealing from my parents' credit cards. I'm sorry, Dad, for doing that. But <laughs> at the end of the day, it's all for the course of football, the beautiful game of football. All right, I'm crazy about it. But this season, I'm going to be making a video on Leeds after each one. We're actually playing in approximately 15 minutes. What's good? And I'm doing a podcast. See, can you see the grind that I'm putting in right now? But yeah, so we need to kind of hurry this up. But no, anyway. Bristol City, the first game, we should win this, but also they are a very good team. They finished about just, I think, I think it's just scraped, well, past playoffs actually. They didn't even get into play, I think seventh or something last season or sixth. So, you know, they're, they're a high contender, uh, so it's quite a big first game. If we win our first game, I feel like we'll win our first five. Because I put a bet on for the first three games leads to win, and the first five games, which I think three is. Is definitely more a more plausible one probably would happen five is still is possible because we had that last season we won our first five or six games I think and you know it was on a roll when we, when we start winning games we get into that rhythm and hopefully we do have a new Portuguese yeah striker and attacker um, in the name of Costa you know I don't know about Diego Costa either or any, or any other Costa the fat Costa what about Costa right he's a machine we also got some other players um, like on loan for Man City and stuff, so that's all good. But hopefully we have a good game and we fucking smash them, lads. All right. And if you're not interested in football, then yeah, let's swiftly move on. <laughs> the second thing is quite sad news. Honestly, like I mean, honest, seriously sad news. Uh, and is that in Texas in America, Walmart, which is basically if you're in the UK, it's basically the ASDA version of Walmart. They actually own the company. If you didn't know that. A uh, little fact out for you, uh, all the business minds out there, all you business savvy people. But anyway, 20 people got shot. There was a shooting in Walmart uh, this morning, actually, because I saw it on Twitter and I read a bit about it. And it's just such a shame. Like, I've made a video on, on shootings and stuff before. Like, I don't really want to make a, be that guy to make videos in it and stuff. And, like, because, I mean, I'm not making money on the, off, off it anyway, and I never would want to. But, you know, it's it's just, all I've got to say about it, it's just, it's just shit how. You know, first of all, the gun law in America was frick was good. Was good, all right. Because like, there's a reason why I, I, I love I love America. Don't get me wrong. I've been to New York. I really want to go to LA soon. But the scene out there, you can literally go in the street with your family and you could get shot. you it's illegal. Obviously, everyone knows this to carry a handgun to in your house to carry a weapon. Most people probably do have weapons when they go out. And I like. And a lot of people, it's not their fault, selfishly, because I guess it is because the more people that do it, the more, the more it's like it's okay to do. But in their defence, it's like it's just a defence mechanism for them. You know, you don't want to get run up on and not be defensive. But you know, I think if the gun law is stupid in America. It should be banned. What's good, America? Uh, Donald Trump, if you're watching, sort sort out your country, sort the shit out. All right, definitely not watching this, but if you actually, you probably subscribe. Let's be honest. Turn that post notification on bell on, by the way. Like the video and subscribe. All right, moving swiftly on. Love Island's finished. <laughs> Get a round of applause. I know you're clapping at home right now. Love Island's finished. I'm gonna be honest with you. The last ten episodes did not watch, and that's probably why I haven't been reporting or making any videos to you. I'm so glad it got so so boring and stale. It's obvious who was gonna win and stuff, and who the favourites were. Uh, Amber and the other guy, well, I don't know what the other guy's name is, but yeah, congratulations there. You've got 50k that you're probably gonna uh, blow within 24 hours, like it's some sort of YouTube challenge on several several supercars. And well, you can't even, but you can buy one supercar if that. If, uh, but yeah, congratulations to you on your uh, so called love, probably fake love as it is on TV. I don't even want to talk about it, alright? Just don't care. And now it's starting in America, I don't, I don't want to talk about it. Next, Drake's album care package. Now, I feel like I want to cover, I want to make a separate video on this or react to it. If you want me to react to it, then comment down below. But Care Package, these new albums come out. I've heard things of being J. Cole being on the album, Travis Scott, all these people, uh, ASAP Rocky. But I'm not sure if all these are true. For example, ASAP Rocky, I don't know if that's a likely collab. I know J. Cole, I think he's in there. And the worst part is, I haven't heard it. I fucking haven't heard it. It came out this morning. I've been working since the morning making videos. I'm sorry. 
I've been working, editing, working, editing, and then I had a Skype call with my editor. But this shit really needs to get sorted out. Like, I need to be watching and listening to do my research before I make this podcast. I do apologise. I'm talking about music as well. Uh, I just went, it, like, when people make music and albums, it motivates me to make music. I was in the studio the other day. I banged out two, two more songs, which I think are, are good songs, like they are, like all my songs are. So, if you haven't heard any of my songs, by the way, go on the channel and sing it, you know what's up. I'm, I was thinking about it very much. I was thinking about making loads of different channels. I'll speak to a few people. No, I know. But what I'm doing is I'm most likely within the next month or so, and prior, obviously, way prior to the end of the year when my album comes out, or EP, maybe, um, is making a separate channel just for music and calling it Josh S. So my name, Joshua Singh, just, like, just call it Josh S. Or Josh dot S. Something, I don't know. Or Josh dash S, maybe. Let me know. What should my rapper name be? Because... I've been contemplating this. Do I want, like, my thing was in my head, I want all my content, whether that be podcasts, music, challenges, all to be on one channel, which is going to change next year because it has to, it has to be one niche. It has to be one small niche, whether it's gaming, whether it's reactions, whether it's music, whether it's challenges, skits, yeah. But this is just for this year because I'm testing loads of things. That's what I'm doing. I always like to dabble in different sections. But do I, like, I wanted to keep the music on my channel because if I make a six song, which there are six songs, and they blow up and they go on Grind Daily, which I've already talked about in a recent video, do I want, I want all the views to be on that channel to blow up main Zingy channel. But at the same time, I don't want to be that YouTuber. And I'm not calling out any YouTuber, but some YouTubers are just known, even if their songs are good, as that YouTube rapper, not rapper. So I want to have my own music channel separate to my YouTube channel. You know what I mean? Because, like, some people, I'm just saying... I like KSI's music, I think he's improved, of, of course, some, some recent songs in the new album, New Age, he, he's banged it, but a lot of people would just talk shit about him and just completely class it as trash music, uh, rap music, because he's a YouTuber first, obviously. But then there's people like Wolfie, who makes um, songs that like radio sort of songs, and he made a separate channel called Charles Dollar Sign, which is typical, but my thing of that is like, should I... Make should I do that? Like I'm, I'm really not sure if I should make a separate channel or keep all my things on there. Maybe I'll only upload music videos to my channel, my actual YouTube channel and Zingy, if they're diss tracks, of course, because that's only just playing around. Or if it's any sort of funny comedy sort of songs, you know what I mean? Like something just a mess around, like a series maybe. So just let me know what you think. It's been it for today's episode. If you did enjoy this, once again, be sure to hit and uh, don't hear like I've just stressed before. Click that subscribe button. All right, comment down below what you want to see. If you want to be in the podcast, give me some more ideas for videos. I'm desperate. I'm really not. I've actually got too many. I've got thousands of ideas on my phone, honestly. But always inclined to take in and uh, hear your suggestions. So I'd love to hear feedback in the comments. What can I do to make this episode better? Hit that subscribe button. Turn on that notification bell so you get notified every single time I upload. Which is, by the way, how often? It's daily. All right, it's freaking daily. And by the way... I don't know, I don't, I don't know, I'm going to have a ban from AirPods. I'm never going to wear AirPods again. <laughs> Do you see what I did there? I... <clears throat> Anyways, <laughs> now honestly, people are saying I should take a break from these. You know, a bit, a bit like, like someone who's addicted to smoking or eating. Are, are these may be an addiction. Anyone that knows me, my friends, my family, people at home with me now, every time you see me, I have these in, even in videos a lot, and... I'm not even trying to flex on you. And I'm serious about it. I literally have these in to listen to music all the time. And they're so light. I forget that they're there. I'm sorry. I can't do anything about it. And I film. And people think I wear it for clout. I'm just not broke. Alright. <laughs> so I'm going to end this on it. I'm not broke. Thank you for listening. For another episode of the Underground Podcast. I want to get a new intro and outro. Let me know your feedback. And I'll see you guys in a bit. Now your vids hold no weight, like Titanic channel sinking to the ground Talking your piece on the web, karma always come around Eating up these W's, can't you see I have the crown Feasting on you enemies, dead and buried in the ground Digging your own hole in the soil of what I found Your shit inconsistent, I don't really fuck around Put some respect on my name, you playing with the hounds I've been waiting, I've been saving all these bullets, all these rounds And I wonder why this hate or this hate don't come around I'm the king to the front of this shit, wearing the crown Flooding all you haters, you ain't shit, now you left to drown